Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Greaser and Mining Remastered. So if we go in the shop here, you can see all the way at the bottom is the Greaser. Um, this thing cost 10 million, which is a lot of cash in this game. I, in fact, spent a whole week with four hour days in a private server mining just uranium and plutonium just so I could get this truck. I'm actually kind of a little disappointed because you can see it is really big. Like, really big. It's almost as, it's, I think it's as tall as the, uh, the stranger. If we jump out of it here, you can see that it is humongous. Like, I'm not even as tall as one of the tires. And this is on a little bit of an angle, so if I come over here, even with a boost, I am basically half as tall as the tire. If we go and take a look at the specs in the shop, you can see that it has an acceleration of 4, top speed of 75, and a max mineral of 32. So, upgrade-wise, you got an increased acceleration of plus 1, increased minerals of plus 8, and an increased top speed of 25, which is monumental. If you've ever experienced something like the walkie stacker, you would see that the top speed is 60, and the increased speed is 5, and this thing still goes really fast. Like, look at this thing. But if we look at the greaser, you can see it has a top speed of 75, and uh, another 25 on top of that, which is a little bit crazy. We're going to do a little bit of a speed test here. This is stock, by the way. This is not upgraded, because the upgrade is really expensive. So I am full throttle right now. I think this is as fast as it'll go. If, you're, if you've ever used a forklift before, you'd know that this is really fast. I'm already at the end of the tunnel. And yeah, this thing is just overall really fast. I don't even know if I'd be able to control it in the mines. The only way you'd ever be able to use this thing practically is if you had the Vortex, which is a 700 Robux uh, vehicle. If you go into the shop here, the trainer, if when it does go on sale, that thing would be a lot more practical. And I think it holds pretty close to, if not the same amount as this truck. I'm not sure if it's been updated since the videos that I've seen years ago on it, but that thing would just overall be better at doing what this truck is good at if the specs compare. So I'm going to get the Mammoth out right now, which is a 400 Robux miner, and we're going to see if the greaser hits the top of the mine or not. So I'm just going to mine a little bit in here, and that's pretty tall at the beginning because I was on a hill. So we'll see if it'll fit in this little patch right here. Its turn radius is also really bad. So if we come down here, you can see it will fit in this stretch right here, but if there's ever a steep drop off, like going down at maybe a 35 degree angle, it will clip on the top of the, uh, the mine. So if, as you can see, if we open the bed, the bed is really tall. It's like clipping through the roof and it's not even all the way up yet. It's basically halfway up. As you can see right here, the bed is going really far up, like really far up. Look at this. I'm going to get out. It's that tall. I'm going to try and get in here. That is probably like maybe 15 characters tall. No, not, not that much. It's probably like 10 characters tall. Loading this, this thing is pretty easy. All you really have to do is jump out of here and jump on the wheels if it's on like a slight angle. And you just load and load and load. And also, I want to demonstrate the turn radius. Look at this turn radius. I'm going to start turning now. That is a really, really bad turn radius. Really bad turn radius. In the mines, you probably wouldn't even be able to turn around unless a lot of ores were spent to just make a turnaround area, which is not very convenient. And not very helpful either when you're trying to get a bunch of ores out fast, which is kind of the whole purpose of this thing. You know, when you look at it in the store, you're like, oh, this thing is going to be perfect for getting out ores really, really fast. So you're like, oh, I could, I, it's just a better stranger, right? No, I would even say it's on par with a stranger because you can only use it one way. And that's if you have multiple people all working together to just make a mine dedicated to these things. So it's not very helpful, but... You kind of have to do it if you want to use this thing. As you can see, I can't even turn around in this, this mammoth mine. As you can see, these are the stock specs. And the upgraded specs are going to be on screen right now. Spec-wise, it's probably the best vehicle in the game. Practicality-wise, I say it's the lowest. I don't even think this thing is worth grinding a week for. If you have no friends to play with, no people to coordinate with on, on a Discord call or something like that, this thing is practically worthless. So I think that's going to wrap it up. If you all enjoyed, please like and subscribe. It'll go a long way. And uh, see y'all.